Hey there, this is Christy Matthews. I hope you're having a great day broadcasting live from Oakley, California. Hope you enjoy this replay. Um, you know the, the standing rule is when you have a situation that comes up on a regular basis, what do you do? Well, you, you shoot a video so that you have the information available for when the next question comes up. It's very important as you're building a team to have these tools in place so that other people can get access to, uh, to questions that they have and get the answers right away because you don't want to be the, the go-to person all the time because there's only one of you. So what has come up? All right, so how do you develop daily routines when you are working at home or even with a spouse? So I was thinking about this today, you know, because today uh, Monique, the housekeeper, is coming over. And interesting, have you, uh, maybe you can relate to this, is when the housekeeper is coming, you go around and you start cleaning your house. So what I mean by that is that there are certain triggers. Uh, when she is scheduled to come over, there are certain things that Jim and I just inherently do because it has become a routine because it all um, gels around the visit that she uh, and the service that she provides for us. We hired her to do some of the things that are a little bit more difficult for us to do on a regular basis, but yet we're very capable of, you know, changing our sheets and, you know, and uh, doing massive loads of you know, laundry. We have dogs, you know, so we have covers around the house. So we always make sure that those get washed up when she's here. And so it got me thinking that what are you doing? It, and that's the reason why we do this as well is that even within our own businesses, there are certain triggers that should precipitate certain actions. And if you have raised animals, if you have a dog, for instance, or even a cat, any other animal, they like routine. And human beings like routine. So let's talk about some of the things that you might consider doing, whether you're working at home or you got a brick and mortar business and you're working either for yourself or you're working with the spouse. I find that working with the spouse is probably a little bit more difficult because there's, you know, there are dynamics going on that uh, maybe there's some power struggles or whatever that happens. It's much easier when you can go ahead and delegate very things, uh, some things to an employee. But let's say you are, you've merged a business and everything's out of whack. Maybe your grocery shopping is not done on a regular basis. You know, the food runs out. You know, because you guys are just, you know, jamming, doing different things. But then yet, I have found that not only for time management sakes, but, only for, but also for your own sanity, is that there are things you must keep in mind. Number one, you need to take care of yourself. If you can't take care of yourself, you cannot take care of other things. So if you are not scheduling in very important time off, Time for yourself, time to exercise, time to meditate, time to just chill, time to go to a coffee shop and get a cup of coffee or whatever the case is and step away from the business because whether you're working at home or you're working in a brick and mortar type of business, if you don't step away, you're going to burn out. Secondly, you need to have scheduled days off not only for personal time, but also for getting things done that are not business related, such as when do you go grocery shopping? You know, I know that this might work for some people, but most people it does not work. You know, so pick a day of the week, a time frame as to when you go grocery shopping, or that's the day you go get the car washed, or whatever the case is, the day that you go ahead and get things done so that you can count on that because one thing you don't want to do is become a slave to your business. You don't want to have just purchased yourself a job because when you are working for yourself, you should be considering uh, looking at how to leverage your time. Most people go into entrepreneurship 
one, to be their own boss, and two, to expand their ability to make income beyond what they can on their own job. You know, they want to impact the world with a product, service, or opportunity. So instead of making your business a job, look at how you can run your business as a business. Now, when you've worked for an employer, you know that there are certain routines, certain things that are done at certain times, you know, like even break time, lunch time, all of those types of things are routines that people are expecting. They count on them. You know, your body chemistry gets, gets geared to all of that. So keep that in mind, folks. Think about what you can do to step back from your business and say, okay, what can I do on a given day at a given time during the week. One other thing I want to point out to you, if you ever, um, if you notice that when you call up your doctor's office or a dentist's office, they always offer you a time frame that they want you to come in and work. Now, I remember uh, one of our dentists that was in Fremont, and uh, he was very good about this. He would be out of the office like by three o'clock every day because what they did is that they focused on the days that Randy wanted to be in the office and they stacked those appointments right around those days and as the day moved on and things slowed down he sent staff home he was a very good manager of his time his office resources and the overall cost and overhead of his business if somebody canceled an appointment uh, they would get on the phone and see if you can come in earlier to fill that time slot that was then vacant. So I want you to think about things that you can do to work with your spouse and your, your teammates and see how you can hone in a routine that you can count on. Spouses sometimes have this little power struggle going on that they may not even realize, but you really do need to work together on things. Come up with a solution. Of, of what is possible, sit down and talk with each other about that and make a commitment to trying it. And, and I don't even want to say the word try, just do it. And if things don't work out, go back and tweak it. Don't dump it. Just stick with it and make it work. Because as you bring some people onto your team, they're going to respect the fact that you have a routine and respect others' time, other people's commitment to working with you. Because when you're disorganized, and you're willy-nilly all over the place and your routines always change, that creates a lot of stress and frustration for those who do come and work with you. So folks, I hope that you got some value from today's video, and I will see you next time. Bye now.